bill of material structure. So when you have an assembly such as this, you've got a shop table and a vise. If I look up here and I run an I properties check on this, it tells me this thing weighs right below 85 pounds. Well, I'm not going to put 85 pounds on the product packaging for my for my vice. That'd be a, a vice the size of a microwave. It's just this little guy, this little six inch vice. It does not weigh 85 pounds. So why am I getting 85 pounds? Because it's for reporting the table. But I need the table there to lay out my vice correctly, make sure I got good clearances and stuff like that. I want to see that table there. What I can do is I can go into the bill of materials editor, take the bill of material structure of the table, double click on that, and I can get a pull down. I can change it to any other type of structure. Now, you might think, okay, well, let's make it phantom. If I make it phantom and I run the I properties again, no change. It's still 85 pounds. But if I go back and I make it reference, say done, rerun my I properties, now I'm down to just under 12 pounds. Anything marked as reference in your bill of material, that component is not factored for your mass or your center of gravity or your moments of inertia, your inertial properties. Any component marked as reference. Also, by default, reference components do not show up in drawing views. You can manually get them there, but they don't show up by default.